That's a brilliant point. And in fact, yesterday we had a w webinar and the point about trade and services was emphasized. But the contradiction was that my daughter, who has a British passport, can get into Rwanda, and I, with a Nigerian passport, I can't. That's a contradiction. So those are the barriers that we need to remove so that trade and services can flow internally. Another point I had lost when I was speaking, which I want to make now, is a papa. I have been a papa for 40 years, so I know it very well. And Commissioner, I will urge you. Because I don't even know who owns it, whether it's the Lagos State Government or, or the Federal. But a papa can make 20 billion a day. 20 billion a day. But no one is regenerating a papa. So I use this opportunity to call for an Apapa Maritime City Regeneration Program. The place was built with the sole aim of exporting. So on one side, you have the residentials where the cap senior captains lived. On the other side, you had the warehouses where goods were kept. And that's it. It's been like that for maybe 80 years. So there's a big opportunity. Now we're talking about um, maritime and the maritime and blue economy to have a second look at a papa. And politically, I would say a papa belongs to Lagos State, even though under the constitution it is federal. So it is something Lagos State should take up so that we can generate the revenues that will help the 22 or 23 million people who live here.